Hello, welcome to my channel, Small Optics. My name is Jason. Uh, first off, sorry for the uh, break I've had. Uh, it's been about two weeks since I did a, an upload. Um, it's just been a hectic couple of weeks, uh, but we're back in the swing of things now. Okay, have I got a beauty for you today? The Kemble's Cascade. Um, now, this is a great target. Uh, easy to find. Uh, you're not going to need uh, a big, powerful telescope in any shape or form. In fact, this one's definitely one for the binoculars. Um, it's quite a big uh, uh, asterism, which is uh, basically uh, a small pattern of stars. That's all an asterism is. Uh, Ursa Major is actually an asterism of Ursa, uh, sorry, the plough, should I say, is an asterism of Ursa Major, the Great Bear. It's just part of a constellation. So, Kemble's Cascade. Uh, why Kemble's Cascade? Well, obviously this is named after somebody and uh, it's quite surprising actually the history of this one. Um, Father Lucian Kemble um, was actually a Franciscan friar and uh, he was, not only did he uh, have his head in the big book, <laughs> he also uh, used to study quite a lot of astronomy. He was an avid amateur astronomer. And uh, one particular night, he was out on a nice clear night with his 7x50 binoculars, scouted around and he come across this lovely cascade of stars. Now, Kemble uh, first noted this, or it was first known, as late as 1980. Now, this always blows me away. I mean, I thought, you know, I mean, I got into, into astronomy around about, I don't know, the, 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 the late 80s, early 90s. Um, and you know, Kemble's Cascade were always there. And I just thought it was like rest of the other constellations, hundreds if not thousands of years old. <laughs> so it just goes to show there's new discoveries even in recent times uh, that can be found. And you know what, it's, it's this kind of find, uh, you know, um, when amateurs do get the find, you know, such as the Kemble's Cascade and get it noted and actually in, you know, officially in a documentation, if you like, form. Um, and that's the great thing about our hobby. Not only does it bring amateurs and amateurs together, it brings and professionals and professionals together. More importantly, it brings amateurs and professionals together. And us amateurs, just as hobbyists, you know, we, we do play a vital part in, in the entire structure of the uh, astronomy process, if you like, and, uh, and it just goes to show. So, like I say, this was, uh, yeah, he was a Franciscan monk, just with his 7x50 binoculars. So, how do we find Kemble's Cascade? Right, the first thing you need to do is find Cassiopeia. Now, Cassiopeia is a really easy constellation to find. Um, it's the big W or the upside down M, if you like. Just look for a big W, upside down M. Pretty uh, unmistakable. Um, uh, this time of year, you can see it's uh, roughly north northeast. Uh, so face north northeast. Start looking up until you see the W in the sky, Cassiopeia. Now, Cassiopeia is going to be our uh, guider, our helper, if you like, to find Kemble's Cascade. Now, if you don't know or not aware of how to measure constellations or um, just the sky itself with your hands, um, there's, a, there's a little technique you can do by just holding up your fingers. I have done a video all on uh, measuring the sky and I do recommend you go and watch that because um, it's really going to help you just in general of, of uh, uh, finding your way around the night sky and it'll certainly help you with future videos uh, like this one that I'll be uploading uh, because I'm referring to degrees quite a lot and um, and the reason I do that is because it's easy to know um, once you know what each hand signal uh, does <clears throat> you will uh, find it easier to just star hop in this next technique that I'm going to show you okay so if I just zoom into Cassiopeia a little bit right these two stars the top two stars of Cassiopeia are going to be our guider okay so now if you were to hold this sign up okay this is what I call the metal sign <laughs> Um, if you were to hold that at arm's length, close one eye and place your first finger 
on uh, this star here and your pinky would you will see will virtually rest on this star here now that's roughly going to be 15 13 degrees okay it, give or take a degree we're not we're not being totally accurate here um so so you now know that cassiopeia is 13 degrees now imagine there's a straight line running from that star to that star now imagine that that line continues the same distance as uh, the same width, if you like, as Cassiopeia. So all you have to do now, imagine you're holding your hand up to the sky doing uh, this sign. And our first finger is on this star. Our pink is on this star. All we have to do now is move our first finger to this star. And now our pink is just like sort of sitting out in space, if you like. Well, where your pinky is now is round about here. Okay, so if you just look, I'll try and get the two in the field of view. Um, there we go. We've got Cassiopeia there. And as you can see, that imaginary line runs through and it's virtually the same distance as Cassiopeia. And where your pinky is going to lie now right there is Campbell's Cascade now if I just zoom in a little bit now remember this is an app it's not gonna it's then it doesn't look very impressive on here but can you see this little cascade of stars running down here that's our target and believe me when you look through binoculars at this it looks far more impressive and this is one of the reasons I don't like really you know uh, showing planets through a telescope because trust me guys on a camera you can never justify what something actually looks like with your own eyes it, it's it's just not in the same level it's not in the same league so there you go guys there's an easy way of finding Kemble's cascade so once again just a quick run through top two stars of cassiopeia we draw an imaginary line we go the same distance again just in a straight line boom which will land us right there on Campbell's Cascade now if you've never seen the uh, Campbell's Cascade before you're in for a treat and don't forget to spend some time at the eyepiece when you do find it um, because it is a lovely there's a lot of color in there and at first glance you might just think it's a line of stars and it might take you some time just to see that color coming through um, with binoculars it's always a good idea to try and rest on something you at least rest your elbows on uh, on a table maybe or even use the uh, old-fashioned broom handle method where you just get a broom turn it upside down and you've got something to rest on that way or better still of course a tripod but just try and spend as much time as you can at the eyepiece just absorbing this beautiful little line of stars well, that's about it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching, if you've watched this far. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button if you've liked the video, and maybe subscribe, because I do do regular uploads for the new astronomer. In the meantime, guys, go and find yourself a cascade of stars in the sky, and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.